So cool. What Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Mom's Time Out Show. And I'm very excited today that I have Daniel Pellegrini here. Say hello, Daniel. Hello, everybody. And Anthony Valbiro, who's a stranger to us, and he's my brother, uh, is here. Mm -hmm. And uh, Laura Pellegrini is here with Daniel's mom. And this is a wonderful story. Um, the story being that he goes, well, now, could you, I'm going to ask you some questions because I don't want to say the whole story myself. It's only fair. What school okay. do you go to? I go to RMS, which is Rye Middle School. It's it's connected to the high school, right? Yes. Okay. And at the high school, there were some problems, right? Actually, it was at the middle school doors. I was talking to a bunch of people, and someone got angry at me. We, we got into a little bit of a fight. Right. Mm. And what happened? This, did this continue? No, I told my mom about it, and right. we explained it and talked about it, and then we ended it. Okay, good. Well, that's the way to do it. But you felt you felt bullied. Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. All right. Now, then I heard that you heard this song. Now, Laura, if you would uh, correct me. You, he heard the song on the radio, is it, or on the TV as an advertisement on the radio from uh, Dear Heaven, ha Heaven Hansen. Oh, my take, God. This is a live show, by the way. Take your mic, Laura. This is <laughs> <laughs> Heaven is and good. I like mic. that. But is, Dear Evan yes, Hansen. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about how that all went? Sure. So... Okay. Daniel is the type of kid who will sort of, um, you know, sort of dust things off really quickly. Yes. You know, he doesn't seem to carry a grudge or a okay. chip on his shoulder. And um, that's all well and good. And I can see that from the outside. But I don't always understand what he's feeling on the inside, mm -hmm. which is like probably most teenagers. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think a lot of parents know exactly how they're preteen or a tween is feeling on the inside because oh. it's so hard mm. for them to Absolutely, right? express. And, you know, Daniel's always had, you know, extra trouble sort of expressing himself in a way where you and I would do it. Right. Um, his is a little bit more remote. So he came to me a few days later and I had been asking him and asking him each day, Daniel, um, you feeling okay? You okay? You want to go to school? Do you feel nervous about going to school? You feel upset about it? And he's like, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then um, by the third night of me kind of badgering him, <laughs> I, was As we do, yes. <laughs> I was folding laundry and he came over with my phone and he handed me the phone and he said, here, do, mom, does this help? Does this help? Aww. And mm. now no other words. He just said, does this help? hands me the phone with this um, Dear Evan Hansen mm -hmm. clip mm -hmm. cued. And I said, um, I watched it for a few minutes, and I, by the third line I was like, oh, my gosh, yes, I, I completely understand what you're telling me now. You right. Know? Right. So even though he's not able to vocally say it, right. you know, he was able to tell me. Um, through by, someone else's words. Through someone else's words, yeah. Which is wonderful. Right. And then, um, you know, I showed my husband, and we were both kind of, like, crying, like, wow, you know, I hope he doesn't feel like this all the all the time. And mm -hmm. But he's trying to tell us that, you know, here he is trying to get into the group of the, of the kids. Right. Is anybody seeing me? Is anybody waving back at me? Is anybody, can anyone hear me? Trying to express himself. And yeah. I know that teenagers now, how old are you now, Daniel? I am 11. I'm going to be turning 12 on May 24th. <gasps> oh, all right. So you're, I'm sorry to say, but you're the tweens. You're yeah. in between and um, you're almost, you're almost there, but not quite. I and this is, a, this is, this is a very difficult time for not only you, but many teenagers or tweens um especially now in the world everything is so fast and everything you're expected to 
bing, bang, boom, right away. I mean, when you're two, you're expected to, God knows what to do, have a job and, and you know, everything mm -hmm. is very, very quick. So um, when you're seeing, there are a lot of different things that you see in school, like maybe somebody's wearing something that you'd like or, I don't know, it's just a very difficult world for, for teenagers right now. Do you find it difficult in school or are you okay right now? For me, I'm, I'm really okay. I mean, okay. I, I'm, I'm academically okay. I yep. don't have anything all right. bad as I know it. <laughs> and do you have, no, I don't think so at all. Do you have a little group of friends that, that you are with uh, a lot? And Yeah, I have a bunch of friends. Mm -hmm. We hang out at the same table, talk about different things. things. Yep, yep. And and it's now Wright High School. They're connected to Wright High School, and then there's the middle school in the same Correct. building. Yes. Okay. They're attached. They're you attached. Can go to one or the other. And never do they. I mean, do they filter in together or no? <sighs> um, do you know, what I'm saying, do high school kids go into the middle school part? Not really, but the middle school kids do go into the high school part. The, the Is high that school for kids, different classes yeah, for things? different classes, and that has yeah. to be scary. You think for them? I mean, yeah. not scary. All right, I try not to use like really strong <laughs> words here, um, but I know like the middle school here in Porchester, the eighth graders that are coming up and going to the ninth grade, they're like really nervous because they're going to the high school, like. What's what's gonna happen? Like all those kids are really big now, and like you know they're they're these like little kids like going through the halls. Yeah. So yeah. I guess there's that little anticipation, that little anxiety. Well, it's definitely there um, when they're when they're in eighth grade. That's yeah. when that whole anticipation starts about like oh we're going to the high school next. Da da da. At mm. sixth grade where Daniel is, it's all this you know the three elementary schools coming together. Mm -hmm. So mm. it's that part oh. where they're all trying to like find their place. You know where they fit in the little society of right. you know who am I? Am I going to be this jock kid? Am I going to be the cool kid? Am I going right. to be the bully kid? Am I going to be you know with the preppy guys? You know they're all trying to you know put on figure their out different, where they're going to figure out what they and doing. I know many adults that still don't know where they are. Yeah. Anyway, um, so <laughs> sorry, <laughs> um, but so I, then you contacted Anthony. Oh, yes. So um, after Daniel had shown me that, um, after I recovered from my crying jag, okay. um, a few days later, Daniel had said, um, I got this paper at school, and he shows me this like flyer for a talent show. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'd like to do it. And I'm yeah. like, that's fantastic. I'm yes. like, what? talent are you gonna do because i'm like what do you want to do he's like i'm gonna sing i'm like wow great um what are you gonna sing he goes i want to sing that song i'm like wow, wow that's fantastic you know and i'm like that's great so my husband and i were like listen are we gonna let him do this because you know these kids in these talent shows in rye you know they're singing since they're like at birth right, they're at right. singing lessons and piano lessons and you know and daniel you know tried a few things you know a couple times and didn't really catch on he wasn't really a piano guy he tried mm -hmm. that for a while and um but when it's in your heart and you really want to do it right yeah daniel, so you really wanted to do this yeah and it was he, in your heart you really felt that this is something that you needed to do right? yes yeah. absolutely so he had sung a few different plays you know he had been in Susical mm -hmm. and he was the Grinch and he had played Aladdin in Aladdin oh wow and he was um the duck they call ugly in honk, honk. honk. which is the, the musical yeah, yeah. The musical and I love that show yeah and he played ugly you know he played mm -hmm. the guy ugly and um he did such a great great job and you know I had thought back to when he was the the lead in that show mm -hmm. and one of the songs there is called different i know that is and a great i song. was trying to video him singing that song at the performance and i again i was like crying 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 um 
you know, he, he does these plays at the JCC in Scarsdale. Mm -hmm. Um, and a lot of the children are special needs children. Um, a lot of kids have very severe, you know, problems. He's more like one of the mentor teen kids that kind of help, um, you know, help with different kids. So he's sort of like the director. He goes in, okay, listen, now you, right? Well, not with the director. But you help out, right, Daniel? Yes. Yes. Not only do you participate, but you do help out. Correct. And you know, in this world, um, if we were not all different, then we wouldn't have a wonderful world of diversity and different things and beautiful art and singing and people who build buildings and, I mean, all different things. So it is wonderful to be different. Yeah. So I, I asked my husband, are we going to let him do it? Mm-hmm. And we talked about it. And we're like, well, he's not a trained singer. And Anthony came to my head. And I said, let me go talk to Anthony, mm-hmm. who is our dear friend and multi-talented, as you know, being his sister. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and I said, let me go tell him the story and see what he thinks. Mm-hmm. Because maybe he can help Daniel in you know, give him a couple of pointers or, you know, different things. And we were about a month away from the talent show. So I'm like, even if they work with each other a couple of times, he can give them some tips on how to hit those higher notes and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I told Anthony the story and we were in his kitchen and you could see just like the whole, how he was feeling about the Mm -hmm. whole story as, Mm -hmm. as if he could relate himself as so many of us. I think we all can. You know, who hasn't been there in in our childhood. Yeah, absolutely. Where you felt like you were the outside person looking in. Mm -hmm. So I told him the story and he says to me, he has to, has has to do it. He has to do this. He has to do this. He has to do it. Get him over here right this minute. So I, Still in the kitchen. Call Daniel. Come on up, honey. Come and on up. Go. Anthony's going to teach you how to sing. <laughs> so and then, Anthony, once, you, once you've gotten in your clutches at, at your apartment, um, well, so we had, how did it all? First of all, he has a natural, uh, a, a good pitch. He has the ability to carry a tune. This is mm-hmm. a very difficult song. Yes. It's not easy. He didn't understand about singing, about dropping the jaw, about relaxing, about articulating words. But literally, after that first time he worked together, his sound was bigger. He was understanding. He takes direction unbelievably. Unbelievably. He's followed everything. Mm -hmm. So we really did. We worked, I think, maybe four times. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it, Daniel, about four times? I think it was about, like, four times. Yeah, Mm -hmm. four times. Once a week, we worked a couple of times on the week that he was supposed to do the thing itself, the, the contest. And we worked on expression. We worked on performance style. I kept on working on the simplest of vocal techniques right. because he, we're just starting. Right. But he adapted so unbelievably to the point, the day of the performance, I said to him, you cannot have any dairy, and you've got to drink oh, like great. a tremendous amount of water. water. And his father, there Christopher, said to me, he was hungry, he was hanging out, he was yeah, relaxed I see that the day. Water. He says, well, we have leftover pizza from last night. He no. says, I can't have it. Oh, see? I can't have Wonderful it that's dairy. Direction. Yeah, and he but it direction. made a difference because the night before, he was nervous and stressed. He had seen the thing on television. He was getting, oh, my God, I'm counting this down now. Now I'm feeling stressed. His voice was a little bit hoarse. The next day, by take, taking the regimentation of the water and not having the dairy, mm. when he came to rehearsal that afternoon, his voice was Sounded clear perfect. as a bell. Wow. And he did an incredible job in the performance right, as well. Right. I remember you you calling me after just a short time because I expected them to be rehearsing for a little bit. And he mm-hmm. called me after one take. He's like, he's ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was no need once you're, you're there. He's very sharp, very clean. We tweaked a couple of things because... Remember, Laura, the idea that there was the scarf. Explain the scarf situation. Oh, my goodness. So one of his friends um, has a connection with the show as well. Mm -hmm. It actually ends up there's a couple of his friends who have connections with the show. Um, Somebody's singing coach plays the mother in Evan Hansen. Um, Another person has a connection with the producer. Mm -hmm. Um, So that person, um, what was that, Bright? Who was that, Brett, Bryce? Daniel, do you remember which kid it was? 
Um, it was Brock. Brock. Brock Bieber. Okay. Brock Bieber. Brock Bieber and Julie Bieber is his mom. Mm-hmm. And they were all there at the performance. But she called me and she said, listen, we have this special scarf from the show <gasps> that out. like you can't buy it or anything it's right. only given to the cast and very special vip people so and it's wow. like sort of their trademark of the show it says dear evan hansen, hansen on it so he's like do you think daniel would oh want to wear gosh, it i'm like of course did you bring it yes i wait did no, you bring it here? with you here because oh we didn't bring it with no. us here oh, okay no. oh, I, we, I didn't that's but right. He wore it in the performance. He wore it in the performance. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, what an honor to have that. Yes. I know. It, it that was awesome. That is wonderful. How did you feel when you were presented with that? I felt, like, honored. Ext- extremely happy. Mm-hmm. And that's since you've, you've done all of this, now how do you feel now that it's over? Are there a lot of kids saying... Hey, there's Daniel. Good job, Daniel. Or, wow, you were on the news. Are people saying that to you? Actually, last week, yes. which was like... Um, the week the, following, right? Mm-hmm. It was like, the week following the show last week. It was only yeah, a week or yeah, so yeah, ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, after, during that school week, mm-hmm. which was a couple of weeks, I don't remember, mm-hmm. but people... People all over the school started congratulating me oh, and saying, nice. like, hey, you were on the news. Good for you. That's wonderful. It's a good feeling. Doesn't it make you feel really good? Yeah, it makes me feel great. And it makes you feel good that there are people out there that love what you do. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. It's one it's a wonderful feeling. So it should it should give you a good groundwork even though mom has already done that from day one that's what moms do but now you have another little platform of positive to move forward now so i think that's wonderful all right um yes the evan hansen people sent him a few tweets which i i think i saw yes i don't know twitter too much but my niece lauren knows twitter and she snapshot it and sent it to us and she's like have you seen this and i'm like no and she's like this is on twitter evan hansen is you know the show evan hansen is tweeting him saying good luck you make us proud and they tweeted him after the show as well um because they had seen the clip of the of the performance it's so wonderful this is like and there it was, was not only Evan Hansen. Oh it was my the gosh! People from Hamilton. Hamilton. People from Hamilton <gasps> oh, were chills. tweeting oh, him. Um, all the people from a radio show in New York. Am I allowed to say their name? Yeah. Oh, WPLJ. <laughs> I had tweeted him um, a few. I guess of the DJs because mm-hmm. it w- that was the station he was listening to when he oh, um, heard the commercial. He heard the commercial. So. Um, Someone named Annie, I guess she's a DJ, yeah. and Jade and Todd or something. All these mm-hmm. different ones. Mm-hmm. That, Todd and Jay. Todd and Jay. Yes, um, I know them in the morning. Uh, Pari- I, watch, I listen to them too. <laughs> Some <laughs> songwriters named Parikh and Paul, okay. who I'd never heard of before, but they wrote the song. Oh. And they oh said, "Oh my God, I didn't even know this." Yes, yes. Wow. yes. Parikh and Paul is like, "Who's this?" I had to look them up, you know. And, and they, they were the ones who wrote it. A, a tweet, or they sent us a, a tweet, you know, that um, they had the heard. The musical director and the arranger of Hamilton sent him a tweet, but he also got from the different stars of Evan Hansen. People yeah. sent him tweets from different different That's people. Unbelievable! Yep. What what a wonderful. But the feeling. whole situation was the way everything is everything happens for a reason and everything twists into each other because after the fact of us going through this that first day and you telling me the whole story i knew that misty tindilia my friend was going to see dear evan hansen which is an obs- which at that point was obscure to us right her daughter had gotten her tickets. Her daughter is the news director at CBS News. Mm-hmm. So when she went to the, um, she's told her daughter several ideas for stories because Misty also was in the the, <laughs> yeah. the news business, and she told her daughter this story, right. and that, and she went to the head news director. They all went out of their minds, and that's how it all started to come together. Wow. Mm-hmm. So it's all, it was a little bit of everybody putting a little bit of this, a little bit of that in, and making a, a yeah. big, nice, positive stew, as yeah. I, could, I guess to say. Almost like a puzzle. Absolutely. Like, yes. You are right. 
it put it, the puzzle together. Can we see um, a little bit of Daniel's video? We're going to show a little bit of your vid video, Daniel. By all means, go ahead. Oh, great. I'm glad <laughs> we have you. Outside, oh, he's put that louder. Again. Like a lot of children in Rye today, 11-year-old Daniel Pellegrini is rehearsing for the big talent show Saturday night. But every sun doesn't rise. His vocal coach, Anthony Valviro, says Daniel's been working hard to nail this performance. It's so perfect that he found this song. Or, Anthony says, did the song find Daniel? I was at like breakfast eating some waffles and then I heard on the radio a commercial. A commercial for the Broadway musical Dear Evan Hansen featuring the hit song Waving Through a Window. Yeah, I was folding laundry and he just quietly came up to me and handed me my phone with this song cued and he said he just said does this help? Daniel was recently having some trouble with some of the kids at school, says his mom, Laura. I kept saying, are you okay? Because he, he just dusts himself off and moves on. But it's hard for him to like, sort of express or tell me exactly what he's feeling. That is, until now. By like the third line, I was basically in tears. Literally, it's asking, can anybody see me? Is anybody paying attention? Like, if you're talking, does anybody want to talk back to you? Wow, Daniel, this is really, yes, it helps. It definitely helps me. But Daniel didn't stop there. A few days later, he presented to me a, a paper that he got it saying, Mom, uh, there's a talent show. Um, could, I, could I be in it? And I'm like... Sure, what are you going to do? He goes, I want to sing. I want to sing that song. For you to come to your mother with this song and say, you want to know what's going on inside of me? This is it. And now I want to take this song and I want to sing it in front of hundreds. It's amazing. I'm a little nervous. Especially having to get up in front of some of the very classmates who previously picked on him. I told him, you get on that stage, have more power and more strength than any kid in a schoolyard. Not to mention a built-in fan club there with his go. three brothers, dad, and of course mom, cheering him on. We can't wait. When he says that last, is anybody waving back at me, I'm going to be jumping up, waving at him. Like, mm. We're waving. We're all waving, you know? Rise Got Talent starts at wonderful. 7 tomorrow night at that the Rise City Lion. That is wonderful. What a wonderful... I can't say enough about this kid. <laughs> You're great. Thank now, you. Will you, um, with the help or without the help of Anthony, will you sing a little bit of this for us? Sure. Well, he doesn't need my help anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you, do we have the instrumental version? Uh, sure. Okay. Okay. So he can here. sing as much as you want. He can sing the whole thing. He has the whole house singing the song because okay. he sings it. <laughs> I can't. I, I'm at the point now. What? It goes through my head so much. It's ridiculous. Can you hear it, Dennis? Yes. Okay. Go for it, my love. I've learned to slam on the brake before I even turn the key, before I make the mistake, before I lead with the worst of me. Give them no reason to stare No slipping up if you slip away So I got nothing to share No, I got nothing to say Step out, step out of the sun If you keep getting burned Step out, step out of the sun Because you've learned Because you've learned on the outside, always looking in Will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass I'm waving through a window Oh, I try to speak, but nobody can hear So I wait around for an answer to appear While I'm watch, watch, watching people pass I'm waving through a window can anybody see? Is anybody waving back at me? We start with stars in our eyes. 
We start believing that we belong But every sun doesn't rise And no one tells you where you went wrong Step out, step out of the sun If you keep getting burned Step out, step out of the sun Because you've learned Because you've learned On the outside, always looking in Will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass Waving through a window I try to speak but nobody can hear So I wait around for an answer to appear While I'm watch, watch, watching people pass I'm waving through a window Can anybody see? Is anybody waving? When you fall in a forest and there's nobody around Do you ever really crash or even make a sound? When you're falling in a forest and there's nobody around Do you ever really crash or even make a sound? When you're falling in a forest and there's nobody around Do you ever really crash or even make a sound? When you're falling in a forest and there's nobody around Do you ever really crash or even make a sound? Did I even make a sound? Did I even make a sound? It's like I never made a sound Will I ever make a sound? On the outside always looking in Will I ever be more than I've always been Cause I'm tap tap tapping on the glass Waving through a window I try to speak but nobody can hear So I wait around for an answer to appear While I'm watch watch watching people pass Waving through a window Can anybody see? Is anybody waving? Back at me Is anybody waving? Waving Waving Whoa Whoa Beautiful You have to see what people are saying online Do you want me to, you want me to tell yeah, you something? Yeah, what are they saying? Um, they're saying, I'm so happy for you, Daniel You're a real star I love you, Daniel, and I'm proud of you. That's Nick. Who is Nick? Yeah, Nick. Yay! <laughs> and then there's um, uh, he is a really great young man, very brave, good. I mean, you have to see. This is wonderful. All hearts, people doing hearts, hearts, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. So. I, I, this is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you. We are going to take a two minute break okay. and we will be back in a minute okay okay back to you chuck <laughs> <laughs> oh i love that that's
Welcome back to the Mom's Time Out Show. And right now, I'm going to invite people to call in if they'd like to call in. And the number is 914-265-1234. Again, okay, Gypsy's going to put that up there. So I, I just want to also interject by anyone yes, who please. was listening and heard Daniel sing. Um, he has a very good sense of pitch and rhythm. It's not easy from a track to sing that way, mm -hmm. especially when you're an untrained singer. And also the openness of his voice, where it's come from where he just started with only four real instruction situations with me. So he, right. he's really come far. Okay, so do we have any callers? You can call with comments or questions for Daniel or for Anthony or for Laura or myself. Again, 914-265. Oh, you changed it. 265 1234. So if you need, if you want anything, any questions, comments, anything, call now. Call now. Right. He wants you call to call. Now. He wants you to call. 265 1234, area code 914. So while we are, oh, we have a, we have a caller. Of course Ooh. you do. Of course we do. Hello. Hello? And who, who am I speaking to? Speaking to Nicholas. <gasps> Hi, my Nicholas. brother. Nicholas, how you doing? Hi, Nicholas. I'm Hi. so glad that you call in. Nicholas, now, now, first off, I want to know, is this just some random Nicholas, or is this Nicholas Joseph? Yeah, I see you. Is this I Nicholas Joseph Pellegrini? I want to know. Is is this Nicholas Joseph Pellegrini? I want to know. It's Nicholas Pellegrini. I am on. I'm on the TV. Yes, How you, you doing, are. Nicholas? I see you on the iPad. Can you see me on the iPad? No, no he can't see, see you, but he can hear you. We can hear you loud and clear. What's what do you, mommy? Just... Mommy, how do you? I'm here. I'm here, honey. I'm ah. here. <laughs> <laughs> They're always connected. Mommy, right? I mean, mommy. Whatever. Yes, sweetheart. Is yeah. mommy here? Yes. Yes. Mommy. I'm here. I'm here. What mommy, do you have to say mommy, about Daniel? Mommy, mommy. He's waving. I bet he's waving he's at the waving. iPad. I okay. see you. I see you, Nicholas. Nicholas, I give it to give it to Daddy for a minute. Congratulations, Nick Daniel. Congratulations. Oh, Thank you, Nicholas. Okay. Okay. Give it to Daddy for a minute, we please. We have another call. So oh, come another on, call. Give it to Dad. Let's give it to Dad. Real another quick. call. Because we Daddy. have another call. Daddy. We have another caller. Daddy. So Daddy is not here. Okay. Um, All right. Okay, we'll put Bye. you on hold, Nicholas. Bye bye. Okay, thank you for calling. See you later. Call you later. Okay, Bye. see you later. Bye. Okay, now we have another call. From whom? Hello, and welcome to the Mom's Time Out Show. Do you, do you have a call for Daniel? Oh, could you turn down your computer, please? Yes, this is Nick. <gasps> Nikki. Hey. Nikki, how you doing? <laughs> Nikki and Susie. How you doing? Nikki and Susie. Good. So what I know what is your comment and I know it's gonna be Hold wonderful. On. <laughs> it's Nick and Susie. Nick and Susie. I see you, buddy. I see, I see you waving. You too, Nikki. Hey. <laughs> we are so proud of you. Thank you. And you got the biggest warming heart in the whole world. <laughs> Thank you. That's very touching. Oh, that's so wonderful. That's oh, Thank you for... He's got a good heart. Do you have a question for him, even though I know you see him all the time, but do you have a question for him on the air? Yes. Do you love all this attention? Because you deserve it. I love it. Oh, good. <laughs> good. I love it. I have a feeling that Daniel's going to become either like a director or maybe a singing coach. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? The sky's the limit for him. That's yeah, right. You know. True. Absolutely. Well, Nick, thank you for calling. So we'll see you later, Nick. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. See you later, Nikki. <laughs> Anybody Bye. else would like to call again? The uh, phone number is nine one four two six five one two three four. Do you have any questions for us, Daniel, um, for me or Anthony or Mom? Not at the moment. Oh, okay. 
Let's keep it. Right well, let's. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So let me ask you: When you go to where does you say he goes to? Uh, helps you said oh at the jcc jcc yes he is sometimes he's the coach assistant so um a lot of times they have little kids there running around in the gym and daniel is very good at corralling them all oh daniel tell us what you do there mostly i hang out with some of the kids most of them have disabilities okay unfortunately no offense no, no offense they, taken. <laughs> they, um, they, um, I hang out with the teen group mm -hmm. who has a bunch of kids. And, like, during maybe around 10, I believe, maybe 11, right. I go to the coach, right. like the sports coach, Coach Howie, mm -hmm. and I basically work for him. Good sort of for you. Say. That's great. And what do, what do you do to help him? Usually I do things like I am like a test subject sometimes for if we're doing like a game. I like have to play the game with him to show To show them how to do it, right? Other times I corral kids and make them make sure that they're paying attention and they're not mm -hmm. doing and anything And then help bad. Them. I'm sure you help them to to do the right thing, right? Yes, and it, then in the end, we clean up, and then we play a little bit of catch. Great. Now, it cleans up, too. Does he clean up at home? Huh? He does. He does. Uh, that, it's so and If wonderful. I say go you clean are, up. He's I am, also very good with his younger brothers. Is and he? And being disciplinary, and he really? sounds exactly like his father when he does it. <laughs> really? But yeah. he, is, he does. He does, because when... His brother Nicholas was downstairs when we were rehearsing. Yeah. He was feeling distracted, and he gave him choices on what he could do. You could stay here. You have to go upstairs. So he's very good <laughs> at stuff like that. That yes, is wonderful. He's very good. So you're a good big brother. Yes. Absolutely. You know why? Everybody needs a good big brother, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. He yeah, very I'm often will watch the younger ones for us. If my husband and I have to go somewhere together, mm -hmm. he'll, uh, can you keep an eye on Mark and Nicholas? That's wonderful. And, uh, he'll do that. Um, Matthew is the one right underneath Daniel, and mm -hmm. Matthew's an excellent helper as well, because I know Matthew's listening. Yes. <laughs> yes. And Matthew also, we should mention, yeah. That Matthew and Daniel are going to be in Inherit the Wind next week. Oh, yes. That's Tell right. us. So, so, this, so this doesn't end here because, Daniel, you're going to be in, in a show. And you want to tell us about what you're going to be doing? I'm going to be playing the character of Timmy. He is a town boy who mm -hmm. basically helps his mom right. sell lemonade. Okay. He, he has a phobia of worms. Oh, well, me too. <laughs> I don't like worms. And he has a better background to this character than a lot of the people in the play <laughs> at this point. But it's going to be a wonderful production. It's going to be at the Vets Hall next weekend. And Matthew's playing a great role of Howard. And uh, the both of them are doing great. Great job. And, and Anthony, you directed the show? Yeah, directing And the sets? It. Yeah, design the sets with Dave Morbido. He's doing a magnificent job. I saw them building the sets. Uh, yeah, there was something yeah. online. And it's going to be great. It's next uh, Friday night, the 31st, and the 1st and 2nd of uh, April. So we're looking forward to that. And I will say that when Daniel came into rehearsal, after doing his performance and having those few lessons mm -hmm. his performance as an actor went up tremendously so every time you have experience yes. in something it helps absolutely you just keep building on the experience and then it just it helps you to mm -hmm. do much better and also to focus more and then maybe you could help your brothers do that too right maybe i could yeah so now uh after this show do you are you going to be doing anything else or um like summer shows i know there are a lot of summer shows in the area is there something that you you think you would like to do i don't know i mean anything could happen in this world maybe even after this somebody that's watching this right now 
could probably hear it and want me to go into another show. This has been my second show. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You got it. The possibilities are endless. That is right. That is absolutely right. I'm so glad that you have such a wonderful, positive. Can I come over to your house when I need some positive energy? Of course. Because of course. Sometimes it just gets really, well, Mom, you know. Yes. We have to go through certain things and act very positive for our kids. Yes. And, you know, I forgot to mention that, you know, this kind of sad thing turned into such, such a great thing mm -hmm. that after that first CBS News story ran, mm -hmm. um, right as it was over, uh, my phone rang and it was the executive producer of Dear Evan Hansen. And her name is Stacy Mindich wow. from Stacy Mindich Productions. And she called and she said, we all saw it. We are dying wow. to meet him. We want him to come down. He's our hero. We were wishing for this. She said, we were wishing for this. I'll never forget her words. Oh, I got you. She's oh, like, wonderful. Yeah, she's so like, we were wishing for this. And now uh, she's like, I'd like you and your um, son to come down and see the show. And then um, I want you to stay for this it's talk back kind of thing. Right. Right? Yeah. And then um, she wants him to come and everyone wants to meet him. When is this going to be? This is going to be April 8th. April 8th already? You're going down? Oh, wow. Yeah. So. Uh, that is going to be wonderful. You know what? They'll probably, they should really continue the story. You got to tell Misty oh, to continue the, the story. story. I don't he gets know. She might contact them. It's mm. possible. Oh, you put a bug in her the, ear. The, not the um, producer, my uh -huh. That's what I'm saying, oh, Nicole. Crazy, it Nicole. may, be, no, yes, we should. With CBS and, uh -huh. and that would be wonderful to just keep this going. Yeah, I'd, yeah. Such a oh, sweet, inspiring story. Everybody who has seen the story, you know, we've gotten a lot of. Um, Facebook things and messages and emails. Mm -hmm. The whole school sent it to every teacher in the school as right. a blast email. And right. all the teachers had been sending him messages. And so it became such a positive, positive thing yes. out of a negative. Yes. You know, now, something. Like I know in the summer, um, there is, I do a summer camp at uh, Crawford Park uh, from Portchester Council for the Arts. It's a summer camp, it's a summer arts camp. So I think we, my niece has been to that. Yeah, Lauren has yeah. been there. Many, yes. Yeah, I think she's In fact, she, she grew up there with, Rob, with yes. Robbie, my son. Uh -huh. And now Robbie is a uh, counselor there. You know, oh, he my helps. Gosh. I wonder if, I don't know if I saw Lauren last year. I don't remember. But at any rate, um, they, have, they have a visual arts. They uh, build sets. They show the kids how to sing. They do dancing. They do, I do crafts there's all kinds of writing and then uh whatever show they're going to put on at right country day during the summer mm -hmm. they do the rehearsals right there and then the week before the show they go to right country day and um do their hell week there yeah so i mean that's just something we've been to many of those shows yes because lauren was in them yes so like we she did susical she did annie there yep. we remember seeing yep. them all at right yep. country day so maybe i mean maybe that may be something he's interested in well, maybe not i don't know Uh -huh. Yeah, because you know what? When I get the flyer of what the show is and when the auditions are, uh -huh. then I will just I'll email it to you. And then if he wants to go, fine. If he doesn't, then he doesn't have to. You mm -hmm. know. But I yep. mean, it's it's an option because there are children his age. It goes up to the age of like we have kids up to 15 years old in the camp. So we you know, and we separate them by age. And it's it's a wonderful experience. It's five weeks. But it's just you become such a little family together, uh -huh. and then they do a show at the end, and they sing, and then and, and the older kids, like he would be in an older group, they sometimes take care of the little ones who are three and four years old. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's a wonderful thing. It's if if he wants to do that, yeah. he or if also, your other children would like to come. He's um, as well as the other brothers. They're all um, Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts. <gasps> Wonderful. So there's a couple weeks in the summer they go away. They go away. Uh, yeah. Where do they? they where do they go now? Because there used to be. Remember, Island, no, they know. still do. No, 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 it's not there anymore. That's a development now, I think. Wait, they go all the way up near um, Camp Wabika. Yeah, that's. Uh, where that's is that? And um, 
It's very, very deep in the country. I, I don't know. Upstate New York? Yes. Um, yes. I'm trying to think of what it's near, but it's uh, Camp Reed up mm. upstate, and it's like two hours past the Catskills. I'm trying Whoa. to think of the name wow. of it now. Lake George. Lake oh, George. Oh, in the Adirondacks yeah. Yes, yes, area. yes. Right near Lake George. Beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's a beautiful area up there. I love Lake George. It's, so. it's just so nice. I mean, like. I can definitely retire and live in Lake George. I, yeah. Anyway, that's another story. Um, so, so Daniel, um, how long have you been in the Boy Scouts? Um, I think about a. Y- Is it a year, two years? A year or two years, but I've been in the Boy Scouts since I was young, old enough to. Well, go in. So right. they so start in a, the you Cubs. You were a Cub Scout first. At six years old. Okay, and then Boy and, he, and your children, your, your other sons are also uh, Cub Scouts? Yes. Daniel okay. crossed over last year, April, into from Cub Scouts to Boy Scouts. Uh-huh. And Matthew is going to cross over this April. Okay. So next month he'll be crossing over, and then we'll just have Mark in Cub Scouts. Nicholas hasn't started yet. Now the whole group, uh, it, it's out of Harrison? Rye. Out of Rye. Rye. Okay, or Rye, because I know they Pack. have a nice group here in Porchester also. Oh, really? This they is Rye Troop here. 2. Two. Rye Troop 2. Rye Troop 2. So, I mean, mm. there's another thing he's doing. He's very... Do you like any sports? I do swimming. Oh, good. Yes, these are the Rye Y swim team. Yeah. Uh, you're on a swim team? Yeah, they're on the practice team where they um, do drills. and Wow. They have a meet at the Boys and Girls Club in Greenwich. Last Saturday, we did sets. We, we built sets at the rec, uh, at the rec, at, at the, the vet's, vet's hall. <laughs> That's Daniel right. came in the morning. He continually swept and cleaned up. And then Matthew took over his shift in the afternoon. Oh, wow. We're constantly doing things. You're a good that mom. Are for the community, that are for the groups they're involved in. And this is obviously a reflection back to Yes, yes. But it's, uh, it's wonderful. They're always doing things. They're always going rock, rocking. Uh, rocking. And, uh, rock climbing <laughs> and all kinds of rock stuff. Rocking. <laughs> they're rocking and rolling, too. Yeah, they're always doing oh, stuff. you're talking about skydiving. You're talking sky about skydiving. Sky Get out. Rock climbing. Sky. You're talking about the, the, the indoor. We've done no, indoor was, skydiving. They were dressed up. They were doing the oh, indoor so indoor skydiving at iFly. It sounds crazy, but. It's yeah, it, true. it does. They put you in like a suit. Yes. And then they have like turbines with that I don't bring know you how up much in the air. power right brings you all the way up. And then you come down, do you have a parachute or no? No, which is no. what you feel like. It's like, like um, you're fly- I've seen that before. I thought they went rock climbing. No, that was skydiving. That's skydiving. <laughs> so God much bless. Fun. I love it. All right, I'm going to ask you a question. Hey. Daniel, how do you I mean, do you have anything to say to your mom? You raised me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that counts. <laughs> That's so funny. It's I true. I think it's great. No, that's wonderful. And, and Laura, I'm being a mother myself and going through a lot of trials and tribulations and of teenagers and growing up, and now I, my daughter's 24, which I'm, yeah, I'm totally... I'm trying not to even think about that. I still wow. see her as she's 10. Cool. And my son is going to be 17 in September, which really blows me away. Um, it's, it's very difficult to let go at that age because now I'm getting ready to send him to college. And I'm going to tell you, I sat in my room for three nights, like two weeks ago. I'm, like, I'm just sitting there like, I, how am I going to do this? And it's not me. He's like, I want to get out of here. I want to go to college. I want to go away. Okay. okay. But so as a mom, as they're growing, how do you, I mean, about letting go, it, it's really difficult, but. I know. We, we're, we struggle with it now, even when they go away for a week in right. the summertime. <laughs> right. I always say it's the worst week of my life every Aww. year when they go away. And uh, more often than not, when they do go away, Um, you know, they're never that far from us because my husband and I take the other kids and we sneak and we stay usually within an hour from where they are. (laughs) 
<laughs> do they know that? Well, I, I don't know, know that much, now. I don't know how much Dad will do, but you know, <laughs> he'd see pictures of like you know they were in Liberty, yeah, um, New like, York, and we stayed at the Days in Liberty while they were there. Oh, Mom, yes. may I remind you that I've seen the pictures, and I really don't <laughs> care. Uh, Besides, if you're an hour away, that means that I only need to wait for at least an hour before I can, can get out of that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You yeah. know, I'm always like the first time that the two two of them went together the first time, and they were going to be up in Lake George, which is like four hours from here. Right. I told my husband, I'm like, they can go. But you know we're, we're gonna going to we're gonna stay and we stayed up um, we have Didn't a house up in East Durham Grandma? in the Catskills and I'm like we're gonna stay there because if they call me and say somebody broke an arm I can be there like in an I, hour right you know Didn't you say that you were at Grandma's country house that's the house that's yes. the one I'm talking about in East Durham wow and that's where your house is? Yep. yep oh it's beautiful there so we stayed there you know and we were with right. the other kids there but right. I feel more comfortable I'm like if somebody. You know, does I mean, something. you feel like it's the halfway point. You feel, yeah. yeah. Like, like for okay. instance, Robbie went up to to Newtown today to do oh, it. Yeah. Well, I, do you? I have to say, thank God, your sister-in-law is the band president, <laughs> Eileen. I trust her so fully with my child. I when she, when Robbie first got into the the band, uh -huh. I said, Eileen, please, any, just call me. Anything. Keep your eye. And and it's just been. I've just yep. had that. If Eileen's sigh on the job, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I have that sigh of relief. Like, she's and there. I, okay. And That's Eileen, okay. as I said before, is Daniel's godmother. Yes. That's Daniel's godmother. Say hello to Eileen. I'm sure Say she's watching because I did see her comment over here. Eileen, if I, you're watching. Eileen. Aunt Eileen, Aunt Eileen, if you're watching this, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Lauren's there too. And Lauren. Lauren is there too. Yep. So now, basically, hey everybody. Hey everybody. <laughs> now, do you play an instrument? Did I ask you that? Yes. What instruments do you play? I play the trumpet. Okay. It's a very good and instrument. And are are you in the uh, middle school band? Yes. Yes, I am. Perfect. Now. Yes. And do they travel yet? The middle school band? Um, you know, I don't even think. Uh, they have a. I don't think they have a marching band like Porchester's like marching band. Rye doesn't have that. They don't I don't have think that. no. Mm. So they just do concerts. Mm -hmm. I don't think they compete in any way. Right. I, yeah. I, I haven't heard a word about it, so I yeah. don't think they do. And I went to Rye High School and Rye Middle School, and I don't remember doing it either. Ever having, yeah. You know, it's, maybe um, they just don't do it. Like yeah, some schools like the, don't do it. Yeah, I don't it, even think they have a marching band. I know they have. They have a, what we call a pep band yes. that plays at the football games. Uh, like Pep Rally. Yeah. yeah. And they have like a little performance band that helps with the plays. They have yeah. that. Okay. But I don't think they do like to the extent that Porchester does uh, okay. with yeah. these. I mean, Porchester, Porchester my God. Up. They're so, so incredible with their I performances. You, and and oh. I'm sure when you see him play or you mm -hmm. see him do anything and and I know the same thing for for Anthony oh, when he sees his God. sons and that you just get that you're just so proud you're yes. so proud like this is a piece of me now out there doing what they want to do um, I just feel I just I, feel I get that when I see uh, you know my nephew Anthony who is now up yes. In, Connecticut. Yes, yes. You know, we used to go to band night every year. Uh huh. And, and now he's I like, would keep like crying, you uh -huh. know, and, and it's not even, it's my nephew, but it wasn't even my own son. And I would be like so proud, beaming. And now with Lauren, yes. you know, I'd be like They're crying. Both two <laughs> wonderful musicians and like just Incredible. going all the way with it. And it's wonderful. Yeah. Well, we're almost at the end. Wow, that went fast. Is there anybody? That would like to call in with any other questions or comments, 914-265-1234. Uh, and Daniel, you have the floor. Whatever you want to say is yours. Go ahead. I'm just saying, you want to call, just, just call. Call in. Call in. See, Are, yeah. Even if, you, even if you're just turning this on now, just... Just call whatever you want. Remember the number. It's 914-265-1234. Well, I, I think I'm going to have you as a co-host. 
And he's good. He's fantastic. I love it. Daniel, you are welcome here any time you want. Do you understand? Any time. Thank you. Any time. very nice privilege. I do it on Saturdays. Um, so any time. Oh, we have a phone call. Yay. Let's see who it is. Let's see who it is. Welcome to the Mom's Time Out Show. Do you have a question or comment for Daniel? Hello? Yes, hello. Who is this? This is Brenda. Irello, his grandmother. Grandma, oh. how you doing? Can okay. You... Tell them about your work with JCC. We did. We did. We did. We did. Oh, you already did? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just tuning in now. Wow, how nice. I, yeah. See... Fantastic. Thank you. So what do you have to say to Grandma? Hi, Grandma. How are you doing? <laughs> Can you hear me? Okay, I'm sorry I missed the first part. Well, you it's can okay. you can still view it if you go back on uh, the Mom's Time Out show page. Uh, you can still view it. Oh, okay. Yep. That's great. Yep. Oh, that's so nice to have your grandmother call in. How wonderful. <laughs> I know. He's it's a great, great kid. He's I really a great him. kid. We love him. He's getting taller than I am. I know. <laughs> he is a wonderful kid. He's a very, yeah, he's very he really blessed. Is. He's really a great wonderful. Kid. Thank you so much for calling. <laughs> see, okay. see you later, Grandma. Have Thank you for day. having him on. Okay. Thank you. Now, here's a question. When Anthony moved in, what about Roxy? Does she, do you really get along with Roxy? She is a beautiful dog, but Aww. she she loves me. She will literally jump on me every time. Aww. Sometimes Daniel comes home and his hair is wet and his face is all wet. I'm like, what were you doing? Oh, Roxy that was Roxy. Was, was licking me. Oh, <laughs> licking him to death. Uh, now, um, Nicholas. Nicholas. Who was afraid of dogs. Uh-huh. And now... Loves Roxy's Oh, yeah, how yeah. nice. And I Brenda love Brenda loves Roxy. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Brenda loves Roxy. And it's it's all Anthony's fault that I got a boxer. Oh. Yes, because I have a white boxer that's Zoe, and I went to Lancaster, Pennsylvania to get her because it was with all Bill my. To pick her. With Bill. <laughs> so it's all my daughter's fault. We saw this little white dog online, and my daughter goes, That's the one I want. I'm going to get out of here. Oh, so my I, goodness. But I went, to, see what you do for your kids? Well, I went, I never, yeah. uh, we never had boxes in our family. We had Cocker Spaniels. Yeah. Um, oh. But this, with Roxy, that was it. So. She's so very sweet, that she's dog. She's very sweet. And she, she's very comfortable to walk upstairs to Grandma's oh, yeah. house. Really? I know, well, yeah. Go in the living room. <laughs> go Are you visit. serious? She likes and just to hangs visit. out? Yeah, she likes to visit once in a while. She'll go up there. She feels very, very comfortable. Oh. But that's so nice. Finally, she loves the kids. She loves to the yeah, action of the kids. She's you know? happy. She enjoys that. I'm so glad that she's happy. Yes, and we're thrilled to have Anthony and Bill, of course. Oh, that's wonderful. We're thrilled. I think you're all happy now. It's like one happy family over there. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Well, it is time to go. And okay. Daniel, I thank you so much. I'm very proud of you. I Me think too. that you are going to go very far in life, and I love your positive attitude. And my brother Anthony, who is um, now doing uh, Inherit the Wind, and what else do you have on the table coming up? I'm doing my one man show at the Katona Library, the 28th and 29th. I'm doing sets for 12 Angry Jurors down at ACT. I'll be doing the um, sets for um, Secret Garden. There's Ooh. a lot of things coming up. Yes, and cool. also a wonderful, absolutely wonderful interior designer. So if you want to yeah, have that sure. done. Yep. And Laura, what do you have coming up for yourself besides being a mommy? Um, oh, well, we're looking forward, of course, to going and seeing the show. Oh, on okay. April 8th, we're going to go see the Evan oh, Hansen yes. show. The week before that, we're going to see Inherit the Wind with Matthew Pellegrini and wow. Daniel Pellegrini. A lot going on. We can't wait to see those. That's very exciting. Um, so we have a bunch well, of things. Well, please take a lot of pictures when you go see uh, Dear Evan Hansen because uh -huh. I would love to see what went on. And you got to take little videos, and maybe we could have you on again. Cool. Maybe. Yeah. 
That would be great. I would love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank everybody for uh, watching. Thank Gypsy for engineering. And have a wonderful day and be kind to one another. Thank you again. Thank you. This is Mom's Time Out Show. Yeah! Over and out.